Welcome back to Let's Play Rage. I'm Burning Dog Face. I'm not quite sure where we are. We were supposed to be looking for the detonator to an explosive in the blue line, but... kind of odd how the guys back in town would pronounce it. You have to go look for it in the blue line station. Like, it's the apocalypse. You really expect there are going to be that many stations around that I'll get confused? Oh, okay. So why am I putting them here instead of fucking anywhere else? That'll seal off this. That doesn't do me any, any good. Oh, fuck! Dicks! Oh. What the hell, man? Get up! Well, how am I supposed to go around the stupid thing in the middle? Can I just go around this bar? Ah. Great. Oh, I see. I've looped all the way around. Do you really come in here with a nightstick? Redstone does not outfit his people properly. Is it weird that I'm kind of hoping that he tries and betrays me. Because he's clearly an asshole. Treats his people like shit. You know, ev everyone talks about how you don't want to get on his bad side, and how he's kind of oppressive and all that. So I kind of hope he tries to betray me to the authority, because that would mean more than likely that I get to shoot him in the face. Behold, more than one line. And yet, yeah, incredibly. <laughs> this sign just points to the same station I left earlier. Oh no, maybe the ceiling is red. I don't know, and it doesn't really matter either way, because I can't get in there. But yes, they told me to go to the blue line, and this is where I find the thing, so maybe the sign is wrong. Uh. Oh, crap. Oh! Double crap! Covered in pickles. Eat a dick. That wasn't too bad. Oh shit, where'd it go?
stay down. Huh. Okay, all things considered, I think that went pretty well. So, never mind about the explosive thing, I'm pretty sure I just killed the last of the Needons myself. I hear that. Sounds like there's a mutant stuck on level geometry or something. How unnerving. What it is with this game in particular, they keep trying to bring up some kind of alternate vision mode. You know, find stuff. Well, screw him. Let's go. What's that achievement called? Muty Blues. Complete blue line station of the campaign. Peek up here for, uh, I don't know, ammo. Oh, maybe that sound is just rain or little dripping water. You know what? I don't know why, but just looking down at him, I was reminded of, uh... of dead space, of all things. The necromorphs that would pretend to be dead and just lie on the ground until you got closer. I seem to remember... Like I, uh. You know, it's been a while since I played Dead Space 1, but I seem to remember that I didn't fall for that the very first time it happened. You know, I found an intact necromorph on the ground, so I just shot him. And I was, uh. pretty proud of myself for that. And I'm getting distracted reminiscing. Let's get back to town. And see if this is enough to earn that bastard redstone's favor. Oh god. Then we can look into getting back to Wellspring, because I totally forgot about that one-on-one -on -one race with that dude who beat me at the very last second. To get some kind of special, uh, grill for my car. The heavy armor didn't weigh it down. Like, what I'm saying is, I hope the heavy armor doesn't affa actually affect the handling of the car. I think I could go to a, 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 a garage and, you know, tune the car. Maybe I could take the armor off and see if that makes you go any faster if I wanted to do the race. So I'm almost certain they said on Giant Bomb that you can go back, but there isn't much reason to. Well, but since I left that thing right there, I have a reason. Like... I 
don't really know anything about cars, so I don't even know what suspension is supposed to do, honestly. Okay, let me just... 2,346 bullets, 28 rockets, and zero, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Oh. Uh. I ought to put the switch back here or something, but okay. You look like a man who can handle this gun. You sound like a woman with, unfor with a really, really mean parents. If you're looking to earn a little extra, see Dietrich upstairs. Okay. I was kind of expecting that to be a side quest, but. Looking for a race? If so, go talk to Mel downstairs. She'll be able to set you up. In reality, I hate racing. Hey, tough guy. You're pretty good at banging up mutants. Well, muties ain't gearheads. You cross any gearheads, tough guy, and you'll be sorry. I said the same thing about the authority. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, so we're downstairs. Hey, a job board! Oh, never mind. This one's just painted on right now. Fez bar. Pointer. Wonder if I can get a lemon gun here. Where it is you go. Listen, if you haven't met up with Dietrich yet, you should try to find that guy. Last I heard, he was looking for a trigger man. I heard you're the one that took care of Jones's mute. Word is, you're one of those thought-out soldiers from the past. There'd be a lot of money for whoever turned you in. But, luckily for you, no one thinks the authority would actually pay. Hmm. With those mutants gone, this town would have room to grow. And that means more work and more space for everyone. Get out there and take care of my bandit problems. I got shipments coming, and I don't need no trouble on the roads. Right. Crap, I can't remember if that woman said the Dietrich. I think she said downstairs. I don't actually remember finding it downstairs. Oh! Am I distracting you? Haven't seen you before. You new? No, you're just drunk. Well, hello. Welcome to Sparky's. Home of the best car parts and upgrades this side of Capital Prime. I've got everything to make your ride tougher, safer, and most importantly, faster. Feel free to browse my selections. Maybe that's it. The other thing on the list. One of the last reminders of a long dead race of game developers. I love that. I have no intention of ever driving the Caprino again. That was like the, uh, the Dune Buster. Because I switched to the Caprino as I said that. I heard the authority might start cracking down on rallies in the wasteland. Rumor has it General Cross sees them as some sort of social ill. Can you believe that? Not a big fan myself, but I am just ambivalent as opposed to against them. Uh, 
Nope. You feeling the need for speed? Never have, never will. Alright, so Mel was downstairs, which means Dietrich must be upstairs. I'd have voted for Owen. He doesn't even have a last name. Good day. Sup? Oh, wait. I think the guy I got that quest from in the first place is just over here. Not bad. You made the cave muty free. Cave. And you're still alive. Guess Redstone picked the right guy for the job. I'll tell him what you've done. Rad. Hey, tough guy. You aren't out of Redstone's dead yet. Get upstairs, go see him. You're dressed like someone from a pride parade. Like a biker stereotype. And you're mocking me? Hey you, looking for work? That depends on what it is. Listen up. My business partner, a guy named Diedrich, he needs some help. He's looking for someone who's good with a gun. If you're interested, go see him. He's behind Jamie's support. This guy must be freaking desperate if so many people are mentioning it. <laughs> Only ever met one Vincent who wasn't an ass. I don't think I ever actually found Janie's supplies. Ah, here we go. Oh. Ah, at last. The stranger I heard about. Been waiting for you to come and see me, so welcome. You see, I've encountered some challenges at my chemical plant, and the word on the street is that you are someone who can get things done. That is an accurate the description. The job itself couldn't be easier. My distillery practically runs itself. All you will have to do is find my empty chemical bottles and just put them into the main distillery. Then all you do is wait for them to fill. Couldn't be easier, eh? But um, you see, as I said, there is a challenge. As soon as you turn on the distillery, mutants are going to hear this. And when they come, well, <laughs> you need to keep yourself alive long enough to get my bottles full. Think someone with your special abilities is up to this? Yeah, okay. A cave just off the bridge to Subway Town. Ah, very good indeed. You can find the chemical plant north of town. You make it back, and I will give you something very, very valuable. Well, I guess I'll be doing that next time, but I should really meet with Redstone before we uh, call this a video. Stopping the mutants, you made this town safer. If you say so. Ah, here we go. <laughs> well, hello there, cutie. Please tell me what I can do for you. Name's Janny. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little money. Helps me keep my head above water. I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so, what you looking for? I'll take this heavy armor upgrade. Ooh, pricey. Always a pleasure, my friend. Nice. Now I just need to remember where the hell uh, Redstone is. Ah, oh, here we go. <sighs> you did a decent job, but banging up mutants ain't hard. But I know just the thing that would secure your place around here. Okay. Okay, so this is my town. But I still have to deal with the gearheads. 
They're not much more than a pack of wasteland bandits. But turns out they control all the electricity around here, and the price keeps going up. Get the picture? So I want to end their stranglehold on my town. Now, word on the street says they've combined feltrite with plutonium. Uh... If they've done that, and we can get our hands on it, that would solve our power problems for a long time. Or you could blow yourself to bits. You they got that stuff all locked up and guarded in an old vault somewhere in the bank above us. So I'm gonna need you to bust into that bank, get that vault open, and get me that feltrite. You understand what I need? I find it weird that these uh, written descriptions don't match what they actually said. I wonder if that was on purpose. Here's what you do. You can get to a passageway into the bank if you go through the old subway offices just around the back. Here, take this key. It'll get you into the old management office. Then just go straight on through and up. Stop wasting my time and get me those feltrite canisters. Right, right. Well, okay. Next time on Let's Play Rage, we uh, we go to take care of a mutant problem, and then look for some irradiated feltrite. Fantastic! I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then.